welcome to my youtube channel so don't forget to like comment and share this video so today i'm going to teach you on how to sublimate a bling t-shirt you know so first thing you need to know until you can sublimate on polyester you can only sublimate on polyester cotton or polyester blend that is 60 percent polyester and then maybe 40 percent cotton that's what you can sublimate on so for now we are going to we are going to print out our picture for those of you that have the printing machine all you need to do is to print out your email and get your t-shirt sublimate on it and then print it but for those that do not have printing machine and you want to start this business don't worry just reach out to us i want to print my image i want to sublimate we have the we have the t-shirt we have we'll print the image for you you send your picture and print the image so you need to know now this is my t-shirt and i'm going to be sublimating on it first thing you will do you need to get your teflon sheet or your butcher paper you put it in between your t-shirt what are you doing so that your your image will not shed on the other part of your t-shirt so this teflon sheet or butcher paper is protecting it from shedding to the other part of your t-shirt so let's go and you iron your t-shirt you cannot sublimate on your one foot t-shirt because you will not like the result so you iron your t-shirt I'm putting this teflon sheet or butcher paper or waste paper in between my t-shirt and then you iron it you will iron your t-shirt so that your result will be awesome so you make sure everything is smooth no folding because once it folds the result will not be okay So I'm going to iron my t-shirt now. Few seconds. Look at it. It's well ironed. So I will not sublimate on it. You will sublimate on it. For those of you that are just starting, you need your tape you need your table to measure where you want the picture to start because me, I've been doing this for years, so I'm, I'm a pro. I don't need to, sh I'm showing sure up right. Don't mind me. So, you don't need, you need your table to measure where the picture is starting from. But if you have this size of, this size is A2, you can sublimate A3, you can sublimate A1, depending on the heat press that you have. This heat press is 80 by 100. It can sublimate up to A1, A0 depending on the techniques you want to use to sublimate it. For me, uh, this is A2 picture. If you want to sublimate this one, the space that will leave in between the, my neckline and my chest is not always much. It's in between, maybe two inches because it's a big picture. But if you are using A3, you need to measure your four inches from your neckline to your chest area. You need to measure four inches. But if you are using this, uh, if you are sublimating A2, you just need to you can just you can guess from your from your t-shirt once you place the t-shirt and uh, the paper on the t-shirt you will get exact where you want it to be because please come close let me show you what i'm saying so look at this is already here so this is a full sublimation see from this part is already on the next side so what i will just do i will adjust it a bit so that it will not be too high and then this one it's switching the down part the down part of the t-shirt please don't be in a hurry just set it very well because if you don't set it very well if there is a part that is fold and then you sublimate, by the time you open it, there will be a white part. You will not have a perfect job. So you need to take your time to make sure everything is aligning before you sublimate. No correction. Once you sublimate and then there is a part that is fold, you do not measure, you do not uh, spread it out before sublimating. That's all. So you need to take your time. Don't rush. So make sure everything decide that you decide the two sides is equal, one side is not bigger than one before sublimating. You can only do this before sublimating. After sublimation, no remedy. 
no remedy. Make sure the picture is in the middle. Is in the middle. You make sure the picture is in the middle of the t-shirt. So I think I'm good to go. Good to go, good to go. You see, even me, I'm being careful. Yeah. So like I said earlier, this each square is 18 by 100, we have 38 by 38, we have 40 by 60. You can use any size to supplement. What the temperature, <laughs> let me go there before putting that. The temperature you need for this each square, the temperature I use is 200, but immediately if I own it, I'm not using it, the temperature goes up. And then I use 60 seconds. Because once I press it down, 60 seconds is done. If you are using maybe 38 by 38, you need up to two. Yes, you need 200 temperature and 60 seconds time. If you are using uh, a 40 by 100, 40 by 60, you also need 200 temperature and 60 seconds. So let's see what we are doing. And this machine is available. I have all the items, all the equipment you need for sublimation, for blinging. I have everything. Just comment or you send a DM that I want to buy these items, I want to buy, okay, I want to start my own business. I'm one step away. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Food is cooking. Are you cooking with me? Yeah. It's cooking, it's cooking, it's cooking. Food is ready. Ooh, look at that. So beautiful. So beautiful. It's as if she wants to come out of the pick of the t-shirt. This is beautiful. Ooh, it's hot. So the next thing for me now is to is to blend it. You know, I said I want to sublimate and I want to blink the t-shirt. So the next thing for me is to blink it. So, and this is done. So make sure you watch the next video on how to blink this beautiful picture. Okay? Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.